Great question. And I'll say as a, a former college coach, I appreciate this question because it is so much more beneficial for the relationship, the coach player relationship, when we can have direct communication with our athletes. So there's often situations, especially at the high school level, but we see it at the college level as well, where a student athlete will say something to a parent and then a parent will say, well, I'm going to call the coach or even worse. They don't tell their student athlete that they're going to call the coach and they just do it. So parents oftentimes think that they are doing their student athlete a service by intervening on their behalf. Long term, it's a disservice in a similar way that you mentioned, Marcus, because they need to be able to have those conversations directly with their coach. So as a parent, if you're listening, whenever you hear your student athlete say something and it sounds like they've got an issue, being responsible to say, it sounds like this is something important to you that you should talk about with your coach. When are you going to have that conversation? And if I took out the word should there instead of you should talk with your coach, it sounds like this is something that it would benefit you to have a conversation with your coach about. When are you going to talk with your coach? How can I support you in having this conversation? So whether you do a mock conversation with them where they get to maybe work out some of their fear and anxiety or hesitancy before they have that conversation, the sooner student athletes can build skills where they can address their, their coach directly. And maybe it's via email, you know, um, my rule of thumb is if it's important, whenever possible, make it a face to face conversation and knowing the landscape that we're in currently, you know, doing it face to face via technology is the next best thing. Never have an important conversation over text. It's simply a medium that doesn't allow for the greatest amount of expression. You know, thankfully, we have bitmojis and emojis and GIFs, but we're lacking tonality. We're lacking the visual cues of micro expressions and facial expressions. So we're missing a lot of information. And that's why I say when it's important conversation, try to have it face to face because we need all of that information in order to navigate the conversation successfully. But being able to have a direct conversation with your coach about anything, whether it's playing time or a concern that you have, a question that you have, building that relationship through clear, direct, honest communication enables the student athlete to develop in a way that wouldn't be possible if they were having that conversation through a third party. And it allows the relationship to foster and develop in a way that builds trust and enables the, the individual, but more so the team, to start to achieve a higher level of success long-term. 